Oh, faithful followers of the Steelers, heed this urgent notice that has emerged like a blazing flame in the American football firmament. The time has come to ignite the embers of debate and unveil the intriguing revelations brought forth by former NFL general manager, the distinguished Mike Tannenbaum, sparking a whirlwind of opinions regarding our star running back, Najee Harris, and the controversial decision by the Steelers to decline his fifth-year option. Prepare your minds for a comprehensive analysis that will explore every corner of this sports drama. According to Tannenbaum, a giant in the league, Pittsburgh's resolute refusal to shell out the exorbitant sum of nearly $7 million for Harris's fifth-year contract was a masterstroke. Why? Because, according to him, Harris doesn't justify such an economic outlay with his performance on the field. Najee Harris is an athlete of undeniable talent, but the nearly $7 million fully guaranteed money tag is too risky a bet, proclaimed Tannenbaum in an exclusive interview with NFL Live. This verdict has stirred a whirlwind of emotions among the fervent fan base. Despite the brilliant season Harris had in 2023, amassing over 1,000 yards with an average of 4.1 yards per carry, Tannenbaum argues that his performance doesn't warrant such a hefty contract. Is Harris truly the running back deserving of such a million-dollar investment? The question hangs in the air, awaiting an answer to satisfy fans' curiosity. But the plot thickens even more. Tannenbaum, with cunning, has highlighted the presence of Jalen Warren, a raw diamond signed as an undrafted free agent by the Steelers. According to his analysis, Warren possesses a combination of explosiveness and efficiency that could make him a more enticing alternative than Harris. However, all hope is not lost for Harris. Despite the shadows of doubts sown by Tannenbaum, the running back has proven to be a reliable piece in the Steelers' offensive scheme, with steadily rising performance and a game that exudes effectiveness. So, what is the final verdict that will shed light on this sport's crossroads? Does Harris deserve the monumental investment demanded by his talent, or have the Steelers made the right decision by standing firm in their stance? The forums are open for the exchange of opinions and arguments. Don't miss the next chapters of this gripping tale that continues to revolve around the Steelers. Stay tuned for new exclusive updates that will reveal the mysteries lurking behind the scenes in the world of professional American football. Attention, fervent Steelers followers, faithful guardians of the soul of Pittsburgh. An earthquake has shaken the universe of American football in this iconic city. The monumental decision regarding the future of the young quarterback prodigy, Justin Fields, has unleashed a storm of emotions and opinions reverberating in every corner of the Steel Nation. In an unexpected turn, the Steelers have officially announced their decision not to exercise the fifth-year option on Justin Fields' contract, the prodigious passer who previously showcased his artistry with the Chicago Bears. This news has ignited the fuse of a heated debate, a dialectical duel between the Steelers' faithful and sports experts, who, with astonishment and anxiety, speculated on the fate of the young talent in the team. The titan of sports management, Steelers' general manager Omar Khan, has been the architect of the enigma surrounding this transcendental decision. For weeks, he kept the veil of mystery over fields and running back Najee Harris's fifth-year options. Khan, in a dance of calculated words, before the advent of the NFL draft, refused to reveal his cards, evading questions about the future of these players. We have until May 2nd to make that decision, Khan asserted in a prior interview, hinting at a murky horizon fraught with speculation and suspense. The fifth-year option, an omnipresent clause in the contracts of first-round draft picks, was the sword of Damocles hanging over Field's destiny. An option that would have required a colossal payout of $25 million in guarantees from the Steelers to secure the young prodigy's stay until the distant year of 2025. However, this colossal investment has been discarded, challenging the very foundations of contractual status quo in the league. But the Steelers' decision is not simply a snub to a contractual clause. It is a pronouncement that resonates beyond the confines of the sealed paper. Following Fields' acquisition in a high-voltage trade with the Bears, in which the Steelers conceded a conditional 2025 draft selection, expectations soared. The young quarterback was expected to emerge as the undisputed helmsman of the team, the beacon that would guide the Steelers towards a golden future. But now, that narrative fades into the mist of uncertainty. 
With Fields out of the long-term equation, the Steelers find themselves at a crossroads in the quarterback position. An epic duel between Fields and battle-hardened veteran Russell Wilson for the starting position in the upcoming season looms. Both Warriors, along with the adept strategist Kyle Allen, face the twilight of their respective contracts, adding an extra layer of tension and competition to the stage. The Steelers have issued a bold challenge by rejecting Fields' fifth-year option, thus unleashing a storm of speculation and debate about the team's fate. How will this decision resonate on the field and in the team's internal dynamics in the upcoming season? Let the fans prepare, for the drama in Pittsburgh is far from reaching its conclusion. Attention Pittsburgh Steelers fans! An exciting news has emerged in the world of American football that you definitely won't want to miss. The Steelers are gearing up for their upcoming rookie minicamp and have revealed a surprise that has thrilled many. Marquis Williams, former cornerback for the University of Pittsburgh, has been invited to participate. Williams' invitation to the rookie camp has caused a stir among the team's followers. This talented cornerback, a familiar name in the local community due to his standout career at Pitt, will now have the opportunity to prove his worth on the Steelers' playing field. Despite practicing at the neighboring university, Williams is ready to make the leap to the NFL's bigger stage. Standing at 5 feet 8 inches, his physical abilities are hard to miss. On Pitt's evaluation day, he impressed everyone with his speed, clocking in at 4.73 seconds in the 40-yard dash. But that's not all. Williams also left everyone in awe with his impressive athletic ability. Did you know he achieved a vertical jump of 34 inches and a broad jump of 9 feet 5 inches? These figures speak for themselves and explain why the Steelers are so interested in him. Although he primarily played as an outside cornerback at Pitt, in the NFL he's likely to be assigned the slot cornerback position due to his size. However, that doesn't seem to intimidate Williams. He's determined to make the most of this opportunity and prove he is what it takes to succeed in the professional league. But Williams' connection with the Steelers goes beyond the playing field. It turns out his uncle is none other than former Steelers player Tyrone Carter. This family connection adds an exciting element to the story and further reinforces the bond between Williams and the team. The rookie minicamp is a crucial time for Steelers hopefuls. Over several days in May, Coaches will closely observe participants, assessing their skills and potential contributions to the team. And with the successful track record of players selected in previous years, expectations are high for Williams and his fellow rookies. So, mark your calendars, fans. From May 10th to 12th, get ready to witness emerging talent on the Steelers' field. It will be the start of an exciting season for the team, and we'll all be watching to see if Marquis Williams can become a key piece in the Steelers' future success. Don't miss it.